hello everybody hello hello oh look at you all there in the chats great to see you all hi jackie and linda hi linda nice to see you hi janine martina um who else shaz falls over linda's falling over trying to curtsy at her friend okay even though you're about a billion miles away not billion but you know that's so cute um hi bonnie oh look at these and sheila hi lorraine angie cosme welcome hi bob hi diane hi susan oh lots of my favorite people in the house you're all my favorite people really but um there's just some names that i've not seen for a little while so i'm a little bit excited so that's nice hi sue kresky I know you see i have to be like the good mother that um doesn't say anything about having a favorite child you know like my parents were so good at not kind of going oh you're my favorite no 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 like playing us off against each other um and we were joking about it the other day when i was at esther's house because um she also tries really hard not to show favoritism to any of the sons-in-law so for those of you who don't know i'm the eldest of three girls uh we're all married and um yeah so my mum tries to show terrible impartiality <laughs> to all of us but the funny thing was esther was saying to me that the other day um matt her husband said to her you're my favorite mother-in-law and she automatically just quipped back you're my favorite son-in-law and went oh <laughs> she she didn't mean it she didn't mean it she was tricked. Hi, Tishan. Nice to see you. Hi, Jane. Hi, Shaz. Uh, I've said hello to Shaz. Hi, Shaz again. Hi, Betty B. Betty! Betty, I owe you something special for your 80th. I didn't get around to sending you something. I'm so sorry. Um, please, could you send me your address? Um, I was totally bored here at my desktop computer. You won't be bored anymore. Fun and games here. Oh, yeah, no, don't don't worry about trying to type everyone's name out, Linda. Just say hello to everybody. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, Mary's recuperating from eye surgery. No, what? Oh, I hope it went well. Hi, Louise. Hello, Miss Cindy. Just trying to drink my coffee before it gets too cold. <laughs> I do see you waving. Yes, Miss Bonnie. <laughs> That's so funny. Yes, gentle hugs for Mary. Eye surgery. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. So, as you know, celebration in the UK has started. So, if you're thinking of getting those new items, those new products from the mini catalog, they are now available. And also, celebration. So, this is available if you spend £90. Uh, this is available for free. So I'm wanting to do a nice, happy, bright stamped one sheet wonder for you guys today. And I've chosen Daffodil Delight to stamp it onto. And look, guess what I discovered? I had a little play earlier and I discovered how beautifully these two stamp sets work together. So we've got Two Tone Flora and True Beauty, which is a current stamp set that's in the annual catalogue. So it's with us for a little bit longer. And I got this one and placed it over the top of this and went, ooh, match made in heaven, I think. I mean, I've not stamped it yet, so we'll, we'll see. This one might fit on this one here or might fit that way. We, we can have a little play with it and just see what's the best way to do that one. Then I was thinking about this leafy type thing because I, I've always struggled slightly with this one to know what this image actually is and I was wondering whether or not I could stamp that and then maybe put some flowers like by it what do you think so yeah let's do a bit of mixing and matching today I've relinked my polished pink because I want to do a bit of pink let's do some more pink let's do some red maybe a bit of Bermuda you know all the lovely bright funky fun 
colours, I think. Oh, I don't know. Mm, let's let the Melon Man go back out again. Right, I've just realised it is starting to get a bit cooler in this room and I, I'm not wearing enough layers, so I'm just going to pop a cardigan on. Ooh. Oh, actually, it's not a cardigan, it's like a... <laughs> It's, it's like a cardigan coat this is so it's very thick so cataract so yes what sort of surgery hi monica you see only one of everything now oh dear your eye muscle were loosened Ooh, ooh, ooh! gosh that sounds very intricate mary right so hello if you're welcome on watch sorry if you're watching on the replay i've got my words modeled up then uh, welcome thank you so much for coming in and checking out what i'm up to and as always i'm so grateful to all of you who take the time out of your day to spend some time with me and watch what i'm up to um sometimes <laughs> i do Sometimes I feel I get, um, what's it called, imposter syndrome. I feel like, you know, you guys sit there watching me have lots of fun. You know, is this truly work? <laughs> I mean, it is. The, there's other parts of my job that definitely are work, but sometimes when I, I, I get to do this sort of thing, I'm like, is this really work? <laughs> oh, hi, Bobby and Lorraine. Lovely to see you. Hi, Nicole. Great to see you. Oh. All right. So let's have a bit of fun then with this one. Um, shall we just do the cross formation? What do you think? Oh, that's got a little bit of a dint in that. Uh, any got anyone got any favourite formations they'd like to see me use? Hi, Bob. You didn't miss anything. No, I haven't even started stamping yet. Yeah, don't you worry. You've not missed out on anything, Bob. We've not said anything while you've been out the room. It's a bit like, who, who, who knows the film Sense and Sensibility well? When um, the younger of the sisters goes out the room because she has to go fetch something she says don't say anything important while i'm out the room <laughs> or something similar i'm not quoting it directly um she's like don't talk about anything important it's okay barb we didn't say anything important while you're out the room and i've just lost some stamps i had them i had them here a minute ago oh here they are <laughs> What do they say? I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. That's me. Oh, Janine. I, I I think I said this on a live the other day. I watched it with my my son's girlfriend the other day. And oh, we were just like quoting it left, right and centre. It's great. It's so nice to watch it with another big fan. Oh, OK. So it's not quite a match made in heaven, this, because the centre doesn't quite align. But anyway, we're just going to go with it. We're just going to enjoy enjoy the discovery and see if we can find the optimum spot you know what i think i'm actually the optimum spot is going further down Ooh, okay that's interesting what do you think everybody you know what i think i actually prefer i prefer this combination do you think? Is it too late? It's done it now. Okay, so let's just compare. So if you stamp it too far up, I feel that this doesn't sit right here, here and here. However, if you go a bit further down, okay, I know you do get that little bit of a bloop, there but actually it sits better on the flower does that make sense <laughs> can you tell i'm excited <laughs> it's my 
moments. It's moments like this that I live for. Where you make a new discovery and you go, oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Yes. Happy dance, happy dance in my chair, happy dance. I know, nice arty find. Is True Beauty still available? Yes, Miss Janine, it is. It is a current stamp set. It is in the book. In the main book. Yep, yep, yep. You know what? I'm I'm mm, I'm gonna play with this one, but I'm not gonna put it on my thing. Because I just want to see how it works. Let's just do a few. Um, I don't, I, I, it's too similar a shape to what I've already done, so I'm not going to use it. But let's just have a play with it and see. Okay, I don't think that works. Let's try it this way up. Nope. Oh, that might work. Hmm, okay. I wonder if it works with this one. So a lot of creativity is in the I wonder, okay? I wonder if, I wonder if, you know, so it's worth repeating that phrase to yourself in your craft space. I'm just doing the whole I wonder if, because that's how you make new discoveries. Anyway, okay, we're going to stop with that one. What I want to do instead is see if this shape... No, we'll set this one aside for a second. That one is not so good. Well, that's okay. We've made one good discovery today. Let's try this one. Okay, I want to see if it will go with something else. Ooh! Ooh. Now, will that fit? Mm, might not. Let's try this one. I think that one. What do y'all think? Right. Ooh. Yeah, that's quite cute, isn't it? I will try it with this one, but I'm predicting this one's not going to be so good. Mm, meh, meh, not so sure, I, th I think that one, this one, okay, set you aside a moment, put you up there, bring back my hippar, Ruth is a proper stamp alchemist, <laughs> yes, I'm like, mix it up, mix it up, <laughs> the bottom one looks like the calyx, yes, that what, this bit here, yeah, it's as excited as a kid at Christmas. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right, so this is now Flutter Flamingo. I, you know what? I know it's such a shame Sean Connery has passed, but I would love to hear Sean, Con Sean Connery say Flirty Flamingo. I wonder if there's like a program out there that we can program a voice creator to say Flirty Flamingo. Or there must be somebody out there who can do it, like Sean Connery style. He must have done, in his years of acting, he must have uttered the words flirty and flamingo at some point in his lifetime. Come on, people. Come on, you Google warriors. Google keyboard warriors. You must be able to find out. Did he ever say flirty flamingo? He must have done. There must be an app. Sean Connery, I'm sure he's passed. Have I got that wrong? <laughs> I haven't got that wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Um, or did I mean Roger Moore? Was it Roger Moore? 
Oh, please, someone. Janine, do not Google him. Someone else Google him. No, Janine, Janine, don't, don't, don't. Oh, right, that's okay. He is dead. Right, yeah. So the, the, <laughs> we have this running joke. So those of you who don't know Janine, she's this adorable, adorable, adorable woman from America, from New York. And um, Janine, um, every time she Googles somebody famous, they pass away. So we've banned Janine from Googling anybody famous because it ends in tragedy. So um, they've already passed. Okay, that's all right, Janine. You can Google as much as you want. He died October the 31st, 2020. Oh, yeah. Sad loss. <sighs> right, how did we get onto that subject? <laughs> Other oh, things we talk about on this channel. So hilarious. So hilarious. I am loving this. Can I just say? <laughs> Love it. Right, now, do I go with the Bermuda Bay or shall I go for a bit of Granny Apple Green? What do you think? Do a bit of Granny with this and then do some blue flowers what do y'all think um where's my granny apple could you <laughs> oh 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 i'm not even going to read that one out I'll, I'll let i'll let those who can read it read that one um <laughs> brennan <laughs> my son does a great impression of connery's lines in red october oh cool I once saw, this is really random, a piece of artwork where they'd written out the whole script of The Hunt for Red October on a wall. Yeah, I mean, just random or what? I, I, that, it sticks in my mind. I, I, I think it was probably at some gallery in London or something. Okay, so can I just go back to the stamping? Um, I have already done stamp surgery on this leaf here because I sometimes find it's too big. For my stamping space here so um, I have cut it down so no apologies I do that sometimes to make it work for me okay. get a few of these tucked in okay so look, I don't know if you're noticing but I'm really making use of the curve there's this kind of like curve of the the leaf there and i'm kind of trying to curve it around some of these spaces and like uh, these little valley sh spaces here kind of just trying to make the most of it there is an app called voice changer oh brilliant hi patricia hello hello <laughs> funny Janine well I'm not up to date with celebrities as a rule nor do I know their names if they are younger than 50 <laughs> fair enough um, I think there's a little I might stick another type of leaf in there. I just want something a bit smaller in that space, I think. But um, Oh, maybe just off there. This was starting off, this started off as a cross formation, but it's kind of taken its own life. And that is sometimes what happens when you're stamping this style of stamping. It, you know, you start with a bit of a plan and then sometimes it, goes off at a tangent and don't be afraid of that just just go with it go with it right i think i want some of these leaves in here so i'm just gonna look oh, look at that perfect and look we can start putting adding a leaf into there just to hide that bit that just didn't seem to work for us and we needed to stamp that red a bit lower down so this is going to be the little 
leafages. I just made that up. Leafages. It's not a real word. Oh, this colour makes me so happy. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it there because it's like these leaves are only for the base of these flowers. And it kind of makes sense just to have them at those points. So I think I'm just going to leave that there. Right. OK, move on, Ruth. Move on. So... Um, did want to use did I want to use some of these uh, ooh, let's, oh yeah no 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 I tell you what I wanted to do I wanted to do those flowers didn't I uh, just having a look at this now this we stamp here let me just double check ooh that is separate I promise I did not do stamp surgery don't think I did anyway yeah, these come separate. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's really helpful, actually. This is a fabulous stamp set. I've seen a few demonstrations with this. I think, Janice, did you use this the other day? Um, yeah, so this little separate one, marvellous. And then, look, we've got these lovely little flowers as well. I'm wondering if, would that... See, that... Oh, oh look that fits on that one. Oh it's just too exciting. Too exciting for words. Okay, let's Ruth focus. Go back. Go back to your original idea. Oh right. Flowers. Right, so I was gonna do some blue flowers around these greenies. So, shall we go for a bit of coastal? Love a bit of coastal. Oh, hi, Georgiana. This, that is one of my most favourite leaves. Oh, yes. I'm um, just checking what you guys are saying. Hello, Joanna. Oh my goodness, what have I started? You all, <laughs> you mature ladies are all fawning over Sean Connery. <laughs> you know what, I was going to stamp this, but I think I need Bermuda Bay because I'm not sure that that is going to be dark enough. What have I started? My goodness. Ooh, it almost like looks like hydrangea heads, doesn't it? Stamping it like this. What do you think? Isn't that cute? Oh. Come on, focus on the stamping, people. Stop thinking about Sean Connery. <laughs> Come on, I want your oohs and ahs. Ooh. Ah. Actually, thumbs ups would be great. <laughs> so if you're not, if you're new to YouTube, as you know what there are probably thousands and thousands of people discovering youtube every day isn't that a scary thought so if you're new to the whole how you show appreciation on youtube let me educate you there is a little thumbs up or a thumbs down at the bottom of this screen somewhere and that just um, you, you can do a thumbs up or you can do a thumbs down. I really don't actually mind because it all kind of goes towards telling YouTube that people are interested in my video. And um, yeah, it, it's just really handy if you could press that button because 
then people who um, like these kind of videos will then get directed to similar videos. So that's how it all works. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Oh, the colour went weird then. Hold on. Oh, I need to do, bring it down. You didn't like it when I came up to you. So yummy. So, so yummy. Oh, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Right. What I have not used yet is... Um, I was thinking of using some more finer leaves, but there's just this lovely leaf here. But... Okay, so this is a stamp. I've not used this publicly on my channel yet, uh, but I have filmed a little thank you video with this, October's thank you video. Um, and I just really love the delicacy of these leaves, so I do want to use this. Um, I'm just trying to decide whether or not I want some of those small like something mm, like a smaller flower sorry i'm just having a wee think having a wee think i need to think through what i'm doing see i'm thinking if i stamp this in bermuda bay like, I want it lighter. So because this is like a very textured stamp, I'm thinking, compared to the one that I just stamped, I'm thinking this is going to be quite pale. So I don't know what, I'm just going to do a tester. Oh, look at the, look at the detail on there. You see, that does come up a little bit lighter because it's textured, doesn't it? Let's try the coastal and see how that turns out. I don't think that that will show up if I stamp it over things. Let's go with Bermuda. Uh, right, any questions? Oh, Richard Chamberlain, yes. I loved him in um, The Slipper and the Rose. I think I'm sure we've spoken about that film on here on my channel before. Slipper and the Rose. It's like a version of Cinderella. It's just such a gorgeous film. Oh, see that? I just lost that flower then. It doesn't make... Oh, I can't see it. Never mind. Okay, keep stamping, Ruth. Keep stamping. Right. Um, just... Mm, this is not... It's more like a colour filler, this little wee stamp now, because it's just not showing up so well. But that's okay. Sometimes you do need these little filler colour things happening. Um, mm. Mm, okay, right. I think I need to stamp. Just give this a little clean. Errol Flynn. Oh, Cary Grant. Patrick Dempsey. What was he in? Thank you, M. Wyman. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for bringing back on topic. <laughs> it's fine. Fine, girls, you talk about all the actors you want. I get it. Steve McQueen. I like Robert Redford in his younger days. 
Although he wasn't bad in, um, what's that film about the newspaper he was in? Yeah, now this seems to have brought that little flower alive, hasn't it? It, it, it was a bit of a mere flower, but that has just helped it along. Um, it's a shame I don't have some kind of other... Oh, there's that leaf. I could stamp that in there, couldn't I? Um, I was going to say that I haven't got anything that's veiny. But I'll, I'll do that leaf with the granny apple just to give a little bit more definition to that area there. Oh, bringing up baby yeah i started watching that again the other month for some reason it was on maybe it was on bbc i think yeah with the, the leopard yeah <laughs> oh the great escape oh i've not seen that for years Oh, I'll tell you what I did watch the other day. I don't think I told you this. Um, I watched The Age of Innocence with oh, Michelle Pfeiffer and... Oh, what's his name? Who's that real method actor? I always forget his name. I can see his face. Um, it's got Winona Ryder. Is it Winona Ryder? Yeah, I think it's Winona Ryder. Directed by Mike um, by Scorsese, Martin Scorsese, which is really interesting because it's it's almost such a departure from any of his other types of films. Um, but oh, yeah, very good. I'd forgotten how good it was. I probably actually in, understood it better now, being a bit older, because I think it came out when I was in my late teens, um, and I probably wouldn't have really understood it so it was interesting to watch it again oh john malkovich oh yes michael priot oh my goodness yes he was he did look good oh was patrick dempsey in oh him oh no i do like him yes yes and he has sort of yes now he's a bit more um silver fox like yes yeah well there we go we all you know different people like different different sort of looks and whatever so that's me being really diplomatic <laughs> leave that li la like that leaf much better because of the texture of it okay yeah it's a bit more stronger isn't it i wonder if i'd stamped the uh, that other leaf but in a darker color it may have kind of pulled off a bit better all right let's let's get back to this then um as i said i wanted to add some of that really delicate leaf in here now this one daniel day lewis that's it oh that's him Excuse me, just a little, little yawn. Right, I think a bit of old olive for this now. Oh, actually, or do we go for a bit of garden green? Oh, shaded spruce. I'm thinking the blue tones of the that green. Yes, my my husband likes um. Last of the Mohicans. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sydney Poitier. Yes, when he was a bit younger. Than he is now. Although, oh, please. And now, hold on. Has he passed? Has it? Has he? Oh, dear. Don't Google him, Janine. Someone else will have to tell me. Hi, Pam. I know he had some, like, Lifetime Achievement Award type thing, didn't he? But, oh, dear. Has he? Has he not? Oh, look, I stamped that right there. I shouldn't have done that. Never mind. Let's keep stamping. How do you get your ideas going on these DSPs? Um, 
um wow i trust the process really i trust that the stamps these gorgeous stamps are gonna look good i trust that the colors are gonna go well together because stampin up have designed these colors and they do such a great job of doing that um, it's very hard to create a bad color combination with stamping up colors because they've done all the hard work in their you know in their on their their desks and um what can i tell you um i i i've practiced a lot i guess Sydney has passed. Oh, that's okay. Okay. I, was, I thought I'd got that bit wrong. Um, to serve with love, yes. Has anyone been watching the Yellowstone series of or 1883 or 1923? Oh, no. What? What? Tell us more. It's almost the same bother with the first year German subject. It's almost an effort. Oh, Martina. I forgot to send you. Or did I send you? I meant to send you the German, uh, the English catalogue. Right, I, um, I will do that. Because you get sent the German one, don't you, automatically? Um... Okay, I've got these sort of flary things happening here, but I want I want something to come out of there. Hmm. I don't I probably don't need as much as what I've just inked. Okay, right, let's just get rid of some of this. Get a wet bit. feel like you know when your children are really little and you get a little flannel and you wrap it around your finger like that to wipe off something like a smudge on their faces this is what I feel like I'm doing come on come on you did have chocolate earlier didn't you <laughs> who had chocolate Keep, keep practicing. Keep, just keep stamping. You will get it. Or take a class with me. Um, I think there's a fairly high satisfaction rate to people who take my classes because they go away le having learnt kind of the process. So it then helps them later on. <laughs> My mum's bought a hanky to do that. Yeah, oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah, oh, just lick a finger. <laughs> yep. I'm sure we all did it. If, if anyone here is a mum or has been a mum. I like the delicacy of this. Isn't it a lovely leaf? My new fave delicate one, I think. Okay. Happis. Happis, happis. Happis yawn, as we say in Wales. Right, I feel like, though, I could probably put a darker leaf. Ah, so I wonder if this would be the moment to bring back... You know, we were talking about this leaf earlier and wondering if it would have looked better in a darker colour. Right, let's test out that hypothesis and do this in a darker... Ooh. Oh, yes. Drama. Dramatic. Yeah, that looks better. 
It's too much dirty language on Yellowstone. Oh, really? Oh, a lot of language. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Yeah, sometimes it, I can cope with a certain amount of it if it's in context, but if it's like a bit over the top, I struggle. Yeah, I know I've just done that leaf on that flower, but I wanted to hide the stems. Where where is it set that Yellowstone then? When I mean I presume it's in yeah near Yellowstone the place. No chocolate yet. It's seven fifty four a.m. <laughs> Is it obvious that I'm using these leaves to hide where these stems are starting? <sighs> Never mind. Okay, I'm going to stop there before I go a bit too crazy with the dark leaves. Oh, I think I might have spilt it. Right, just let it settle, let it settle. Mm. Mm -hmm. Where are they? Oh, I haven't done any dotage yet, so that's all right. Um, there is this very cute firefly dotage. Shall we? Is Glenna here yet? Black magic is my new favourite. Oh, who's that by? Chocolate gives you a sore throat. Oh no. I would rather be allergic to chocolate rather than addicted to it. Ah, fair enough. I need to bring the lighter green back. Yeah, but where would I put it? I can't do it over the top of it, can I? Yeah, so the only way to soften it all is by adding more dark, would you believe? So by adding dark dotage, it helps distract from the blobs of dark. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but it works. I know, I'll just do it to this side. And then... It's like we've got magical little little fairies dancing around the page. So what I'm doing is I'm having them come away from the dark dotage here, a uh, dark leaf. Okay, so does that make sense? Look, by adding the dark dotage. It kind of distracts from the big blobs of dark green now. Whereas on this side, my eyes are going to go boing, boing. It's going directly to the dark. But here now, it's softened it. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of softened it a little bit. Oh, it's by Nestle. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be using that, Valerie. I'm a, I'm a Nestle boycotter. Although the other day, <laughs> the other day, I we rushed into Sainsbury's. I know. I think I told you my story of my our car issues, and um, I had to rush into the supermarket and grab some food. And I was in the kind of like the mega reduced section. And I just saw these like yogurt drinks reduced to 9p, 9p. And I just grabbed them. It was only when I got them home that I realised they were healthy. 
um, who I've desperately tried not to purchase from for many, many years. And um, <laughs> anyway, I've, they're sitting in my fridge and I said to the kids today, you've got to drink these drinks. Um, and I was like, I'm sorry, they're not slow. <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm trying to think who... Oh, I tell you what my son bought me for Christmas. Where's it gone? And I've, I've kept them in my craft room. The Lint, double, Lint Lindor Double Chocolate. These are gorgeous. So they're milk and dark chocolate. So I'm not sure if it's like dark in the middle or... I'm, I'm, I'm not going to have one now because I just had one. But... Um, these are gorgeous really nice <clears throat> just a little bit more dotage around here there we go that's quite pretty oh and i've just missed yeah i've just noticed i've missed some around here as well that's quite sweet aren't they They've got a lovely little bit of a swirl to this design. So so if you kind of didn't look too closely, it just looks like a really pretty swirl of, of dotage. Not necessarily, there's, they're tiny little, they almost look like dragonflies. Um, I guess they're meant to be fireflies. I have a problem just eating one. Oh, thank you, Monica. Oh, you're so kind. Okay, I think we need more pink. So, just some little tiny pink flowers now. Um, we do have that little one there I have not used yet. Oh, 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 no, I've got these to use yet. Just when you think she's done it all. Uh, now, we're missing Vicky tonight. I think Vicky is on the road um, to her holiday destination. Um, so I haven't got Vicky's husband saying, put the stamps down, Ruth. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. I like the shapely dotage, says Bonnie. I like it, Bonnie. I love your turn of phrase there. These are like funny little berry things. Just seem to work. Isn't that fun? And you can kind of like get them to fit in all sorts of different little places. Look at that. Thank you, Jane. Hi, Lashira. First time here and I love it. Oh, you're very welcome. I also love crocheting, Lashira. Yeah love crocheting what are you working on at the moment please come again lashira okay lindor and now crispy creme you're making me crave sweet oh sorry <laughs> Good, it needed some more pink red for colour balance. Yes. And I love that because these are so such different textures. They kind of like they, they're showing up, aren't they? Oh, I'm gonna stick some there. Oh well. I was going for a cross formation. You're all laughing at me now because you're like, Ruth, what happened to the cross? It's gone. <laughs> Cannot see it. What happened? 
but I don't care. It looks fabulous. Yeah, love that. Love it. And it's got its only little its own little set of dotage in here. So I'm thinking of stamping some dotage over those larger dots that I've just stamped. So I've just used polished pink. So um, I'm going to go back in with a melon. Uh, ooh. Stay back, stay back. Um, let's get that. Do I need to put it on one of those? Hi all, I just realised you are on. Is it three days in a row? Three days in a row for what? Me being live? Yeah. Oh, you're crocheting a temperature blanket. Oh, brilliant, Linda. Oh, I've never done one of those. See, my problem is, I think I would, um, I tend to crochet in fits and start, like I'll, I'll do a whole load and then I won't do it for a few months. So I'm, I worry that I wouldn't be able to keep up. I'd have to sort of just make a note of the, t the temperatures each day and, you know, do a catch up session, I think. So what I'm doing, sorry, just back to the stamping, um, is I'm stamping Mella Mambo with a tiny little dotage over the larger sort of dot things that I've done, just to sort of add a bit of texture into those. Okay, yep, yeah, happy with that, I think. I tell you what I didn't do, I didn't stamp the centres of those flowers, but I think I'm all right, I think I'm done. Hmm. I'm crocheting a baby blanket and a temperature blanket. Ooh, what's a temperature blanket? Oh, um, a temperature blanket is where you assign a colour to a certain range of temperature, weather-wise. And so you make a note of every day what the temperature was, and then you assign, you use that colour that's assigned to it. So usually it is the hotter the temperature, the more red it is and the colder it is, the more blue it is. Um, but you can do anything you want, really. And then some people do it where they do squares each day or they do a row. So, yeah, I'm doing another thick blanket uh, in a colour scheme I've never really done before. I'm quite enjoying it. So... Oh, Sandy, no, just go for it. Go for it. Please just, just, yeah, just show us. We're pretty kind over on Artful Stamping Space. So those of you who have not joined Artful Stamping Space, it's a Facebook group for people who love this style of, no, sorry, I'll rephrase that. People who love my channel, because <laughs> uh, I don't just stamp stuff like this, I stamp other things. Um, if you've been inspired by something you've seen me do on my channel and you want to share something, then that's the space for you. Is it me or does this need a contrasting colour such as maybe a neutral? Yeah, possibly, Mary, because there's a lot of colour in here. Um, I would say that the green is the neutral. So when I make up car a card from this, I'll probably try and put some plain 
either plainish paper or plain card. So for those of you who've not seen me do this before, this is just the beginning. This is meant to be cut up and used for cards. So you will not use the whole section of this, you will only use a portion of it. So to get an idea of perhaps how it might look cut up, I've got some little template, um, some guides here just to show you. So let's just have a look what it would look like if you were to cut it into quarters. To be honest, that's still quite heavy. Let's have a look at this little section here. OK, that is gorgeous. That Just that little section there is nice. Then we have that one. That would work. Yep, yeah, that would work. That would work. Hi, Marilyn. It looks a bit caskets. Oh, Joanna, that has made my day. I love caskets stuff. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, that's that's okay. That one's nice. Yeah, that'll do, and that'll do. Yeah, that all of those work. So I think where the I I do understand what you're saying, Mary. I think looking at that this whole big piece, it can look quite overwhelming, but once it's been cut up, I think it work. You know, once you place it with other pieces of card. So let's have a look. If I was to chop it into sort of six pieces, ignore these other bits and bobs. Um, yeah, that's still gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yep, got a nice big clump there, big clump there. That one, we do lose out a little bit. We haven't got a kind of main focal point, but that's one that perhaps I would use and put a focal point of a die cut on it. And then that one. Yeah, that works fine. Really well. Oh, Lashira. So anyone who's on at the moment and you want to hang out with some of the people that are in this chat, the Christmas stroke New Year Zoom is still going and will be going till probably Monday. Um, so if you want to actually see people face to face, please go to Artful Stampin' Space and um, the Zoom information is on there. So yeah, it'd be lovely to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, if you have, do you have a channel, Lashira? Linda doesn't, Linda doesn't have a channel, but she's on Facebook. Okay, so this is the the narrow ones, and to be honest, there's probably enough. Look at that. Oh, that's that actually works really well. That one I would say has got a lot going on in it, but maybe I would shift that line over to there just to give it a little bit more of some other colours. But then if I was to shift that along and cut that at that point there, that would work fine. Those would make really gorgeous, like slim line, but long, narrow cards. I haven't done that for a little while, actually. So, oh, oh, who's that? No one saw me come in. Who was that? <laughs> Glad no one saw me today for the first time. Not my best. Oh, I see. Sorry, Janine, I misread you. I thought you said you'd just come in. I was like, who said that? And then I realised it was Janine who has been here the whole time. Um, right, let's just, last one to try out. Oh, gosh, these are a bit mucky. I'm going to have to make new ones, aren't I? Um, so this is the 3x3. Three by, three. by the way, I've used A4 size cardstock, which is the closest, if you were using it, is 8.5 by 11 if you don't have A4. Will you show cards? Yes, yes. Um, usually, So it's become a bit of a pattern that sometimes I'll do a one sheet wonder on a Wednesday and then I'll show you how to make some cards on a Thursday. Hi, Miss Ellen. Um, so it could be that I do make some cards tomorrow because I need to do some team cards and um, yeah, just sort of add to my stash really. So yes, yeah, so this one seems to work really well. That 
oh gosh I'm really spoilt for choice there's so many ways I could cut this up so I, I maybe tomorrow I will do you know like a long one then I'll do actually this one works really well doing one two three and then maybe I'll cut this one around sort of here I think yeah so I'll get a bit of those flowers and then this section here all right so I'm gonna have to write that down otherwise I'm gonna I'm gonna forget let me just draw that out what oh no pens running out there try one two that one there I'm going to leave this on my desk for tomorrow, see? So I'll remember roughly what to do. So about there. And now I'll go for about six. So down like that. Look at that. Then. Then we'll go down like that. Then we'll do that at seven and 14 so that's, that only takes me up to that point there um, might get a little mini strip out of there so if I take that to up there And then what was I going to do? Cut that about there. Okay, I think that would work. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to get seven cards out of this tomorrow. Oh, my pen's running out. Need a new pen. Right, so that's tomorrow, guys tomorrow tomorrow ruth have you put your templates on a facebook group so i can print them out i haven't miss dawn but i'm thinking of creating pdfs so you can download them and print them yourself for a little price little little price um i that's my kind of new year's aim is to do some templates for you guys do i do slimline cards oh yes i do yes 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 yeah I've done that yeah so i just need to do um the, the only problem with my me doing pdfs is that i have to do them in a4 and then also in a half by 11. so i just need to kind of figure figure it out new template needed yes i like this i think i'm gonna have to recreate this one yeah one sheet wonder for cards Oh yeah, this is this is why these get called a stamped one sheet wonder. So for those of you who are new to my channel and don't realise this, um, I call these stamped one sheet wonders because this is what we do with them. We we cut them up, yeah. So love the cards you showed earlier today. Ooh, what cards did I show earlier today? Are we talking about somebody else? What cards? What cards? I've put I've made a lot of three D's in the cast but not posted one here on YouTube. Ah, oh, go for it. Oh, I'm just waiting for the shas to reply to me anyway i'm gonna say my goodbyes i'm gonna go through the colors and all the stamps now with you so we had polished pink for the flowers with melon mambo granny apple green oh and sorry i forgot about flirty flamingo so we have flirty polished and melon granny apple green bermuda bay did i use coastal yeah, I did. And coastal. 
and then a little bit of shaded spruce oh my goodness that color scheme is so delicious so delicious you're truly scrumptious there we go that is a truly scrumptious color palette with the daffodil delight that is just so gorgeous yes mary i hope we didn't overburden your eye with you watching right so stamp sets we used true beauty which is available in the annual catalogue we used beautifully happy oh, actually i'll come back to that one we used i say we the royal we two tone two tone flora which if you're a fan of florals stamping really sort of heavily please get this stamp set it's stunning do also check out the dies i didn't purchase the dies because I, I didn't feel i needed them that but that's just me that's because you know i there's lots of other stamps i need to purchase um but if you are into intricate backgrounds do check it out it is stunning i've just realized i can do a walkthrough a mini catalog walkthrough oh i might come back and do that in a second Oh, Linda, no, just chill. Yeah, chat, you're moderating chat and crocheting and you had the boy to, oh my word, no, no, no. Just have a chill tonight. Then we use Lighting the Way, which has got this beautiful leaf in here, this great dotage and got lots and lots of other things going for it. So two tone flora. So beautifully happy. Now, if you were to purchase the bundle of that one, and probably that and that you would get this for free because it's spent when you spend 90 pounds you get this for free so it's stunning um there we go lovely to see you nicole yeah so that was it i think for all the colors and the stamp sets um super duper fun really enjoyed myself tonight i have to say are you always on at this time um not always Lashira, best to subscribe and if you use whatsapp the um messaging app please email me ruthtrice at gmail.com and email me your phone number and i will message you with my phone number and you just need to save it and um i'll add you to a broadcast list so you get a notification via whatsapp when i go live so if you subscribe to me on facebook as well i post on there too thank you everybody i presume Lashira, i know what let me go find so lashira can't post her um lashira can't post post her channel because she's not a mod but i will go and find it because it sounds like you guys are just wanting to know about her crocheting Lashira Crochet. There we go. There you are. I found you, Lashira. Um. Ooh, busy lady. I presume you're a lady. Um. That is. You have. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. I'm. I'm I've got distracted looking at her channel. <laughs> there you go Oop, right, that's that's the link to her videos sorry i got distracted by her videos i was like oh <laughs> oh dear yeah oh i hope you're feeling better today janice oh and vanessa Nessa, I hope you're feeling better too who else is not feeling well so i know mary's just had surgery and louise is recovering good job we really has the jewels look oh my goodness that is like another fabulous compliment thank you so much titian that yes being compared to kath kidston and jewels in the same live i am very honored thank you thank you thank you thank you oh it's 125 with you oh whoa where do you live then lashira yeah it's 25 past midnight here um yeah where are you from then 
I'm going to be nosy and going to have a look on your channel. I don't know if I can... Yeah, also, Lashira, email me because um, I, I've i got a couple of tips for your channel to, if you want, if you want more um, subscribers, um, just, yeah, just, just inbox me, please. Um, there's just a couple of things I want to um, give you a couple of tips on. Oh, granny squares. I love a granny square. Yeah, where are you from? You look like you're, I don't know, Europe, I guess. Yeah, I was going to say Europe. Yeah, you're in the same time zone as, as Martina in L Label Mail in Germany. Ooh. Ha Jenny, Jenny, you're up late. You and I are both up late. <laughs> I feel like I've been quiet. I'm going to bed now, Jenny. Night night. <laughs> yes, Europe. Oh, yay. Yeah, we're a bit of an international bunch on this channel, so we kind of we've got the time zones down. Yeah, we know we know where everybody lives. Not not, not no, sorry. I I'll rephrase that. We 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 understand the time zones. We don't know where you live. It's okay. Don't worry. Only if you tell us. <laughs> I've got to be careful what I say. Right. You've only just got here. Oh, I know. <laughs> yes, Jenny. Yes, Miss. <laughs> uh... Right, I'm going to go. Oh, he's turning to a pumpkin. <laughs> right, I'm going to say good night. Here we go. The good night screen is coming up. <sighs> oh, sad face at Jenny Bar. I know, it's because me, um, anyway, yeah. Um, Jenny and I have often had conversations way into the night. <laughs> Jenny's the friend who, like, um, will go. I will message and go. Uh, are you are you free now? I go. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll just have a quick chat, like eleven o'clock at night or something. And then before we know it, it's like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> She's that friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. <laughs> thanks Jen Mwah. I'm going to go light another candle <laughs> oh I can show you the catalogue oh my gosh yeah no I think I might come back on I'll come back I'll come back Jenny I'm not going to bed <laughs> right let's show the final screen good night everybody see you soon bye thank you everyone